The decomposition of ozone in the upper atmosphere occurs by a two-step mechanism. The first step is a fast reversible step, and the second is a slow reaction between an oxygen atom and an ozone molecule. So the first question is, what is the rate determining step? That's easy, that's the slow step. Part B, it asks us, write the rate equation for the rate determining step. For that step, the rate is K times the concentration of ozone times the concentration of oxygen. And then finally, it asks us the rate equation for the overall reaction. Now, normally that would be the rate of the slow step. However, since the rate of the slow step has an intermediate, we cannot have this as the overall reaction because it doesn't show up in the actual stoichiometry of the reaction. So we need to substitute out for, for the concentration of an oxygen atom, something else that represents that. So this is, this is where it gets a little tricky. So let's look at step one. Step one is a reversible reaction. The uh, rate of the forward reaction is K, let's say K1 times the concentration of ozone. And the rate for the reverse reaction, because remember at equilibrium, we know it's at equilibrium because it's got the double sided arrow. At equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. The rate of the reverse reaction, I'll call K negative one, is the concentration of O2 times the concentration of O. So my overall plan for this is to figure out, to well, to solve for the variable O, and then I'm gonna substitute that into here. So let's do that. We know that these rates equal each other. Rate one equals rate negative one, so that K, 103 is equal to K negative 1 O2 over O. I'm sorry, O2O. To get O to get O by itself, we're going to divide it by K negative 1 O2. So that O is equal to K1 divided by K to negative one, which is some other K, we're just gonna call it K, times O3 divided by O2. See, when we have two different Ks, when we divide them, they're gonna create another constant and they're, it's just gonna be called K in the end. So we don't have to worry right now that the Ks don't match. This is all theoretical anyway. So then we substitute that, this O, into the second rate equation. So the rate of step two, which is the rate determining step, the rate determining step is K times O3 times O, which we know is K times O3 divided by O2. Now, these are two different Ks. Instead of calling it K squared, they multiply together, they form a new K. So the rate of the entire reaction, we're gonna call it K. Notice that O3 is now squared and O2 is in the denominator, so we could write that as O2 to the negative one. And this then would be the rate equation for the overall reaction.